We're here in Rome in front of St. Peter's and with me is the new ambassador to the Holy See from the Republic of Korea. Thank you so much for being with us and I understand you just presented your credentials to the Holy Father. How was that? Thank you for having me first and then um, uh, I just want to uh, say um, the Happy New Year to you. <laughs> we Koreans uh, celebrate a new Lunar New Year and it falls on the last Sunday. So, so Happy New Year to you as well. Thank then. you. And um, it was the very the first uh, the encounter in person with the Pope, the Holy Father. And um, it's certainly a memorable moment in my life as a Catholic and also um, in my career as a diplomat. And um, he um, genuinely um, greeted um, my family, my staff members and myself with a very warm heart and um, the big smiles <laughs> and um, encouragement a lot. So for you, what, what will be the next steps here also as an ambassador? What hope do you hope to achieve being here in Rome, being also sent to the Vatican? We are preparing uh, uh, several commemorative events um, uh, in cooperation with the uh, Korean Catholic Church. So I'd like to um, contribute to strengthening and deepening our bilateral relations uh, through these um, the, uh, events. And also, um, the, our bilateral relations um, could not be uh, better uh, now, but uh, still I uh, continue to work on most uh, global issues like climate change or the women empowerment um, in cooperation with the Holy See. In, in Korea, Christianity, uh, Christians, also Catholics, are a minority. Um, can you describe a little bit the, the, the situation of, of, of Catholics in your country? Um, well, it, I don't know whether it, it can, we can call it a minority. We are the third uh, largest uh, religious community and it accounts for 11% of the entire population, over uh, 5.9 million um, Catholic community. But um, the, I think the Korean Catholic Church is uh, proud of having a very unique um, history of introducing Catholicism into Korea. And um, with the, the suffering and sacrifice in, in the persecutions. So they are very proud uh, of it. And then um, the, although the, um, the Catholic community uh, is not increased, uh, uh, in the, at the moment, maybe because of the, the COVID-19, um, there are still a lot of Korean uh, uh, Catholic community uh, who uh, want to have uh, the very strong bilateral relations with the Vatican. So what will you bring back home uh, from your encounters here, also maybe with the Holy Father, to the, to the Catholics in Korea? Mm -hmm. Um, in my uh, meeting with the Holy Father, he um, emphasized the, the role of the women ambassadors, especially in this diplomatic corps. And um, he noted that um, the number of the women ambassadors accredited ambassador uh, to the Holy See is increasing. And uh, he spoke highly of the, um, the very performance, good performance of the women ambassadors. So I could feel the, his genuine interest in the empowerment of, of women. So I think that uh, that's the one of the messages that we can, I would like to share with the, the Catholic community in Korea. Your Excellency, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for taking the time also for being with us. Welcome to Rome and I hope that we'll have many more conversations also in the future. And I wish you all the best also for your very important work here towards the Holy See. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with us here in Rome. Andreas Townhauser, EWTN News Nightly.